If your house has a dryer vent like this, you need to be cleaning this out at least once a year. Now don't panic if you've never done this job before, because it's exactly what happened on the house I just bought. But in this video, I'm going to show you an easier way to get this job done. You don't have to take anything apart, and the entire job can be done from the outside. You'll need two tools for the job. The first the is gun. any type of cordless screwdriver, but the real thing that makes the difference is this brush kit. Now there are many different versions of this kit. They all cost about 20 bucks and they'll include a brush along with these rod extensions. And this is what makes this work so well. The extension rods screw into one another, the brush goes on the end, and on the opposite side, that's the piece that goes into your cordless screw gun. And you can connect as many rods as you need to to reach the full length of your dryer vent up to 20 feet. Now this next tip is really going to supercharge the clean out, but you can skip this if you don't feel comfortable running your dryer at the same time. Now I like to turn my dryer on, I'll set it to just an air cool setting which means that the heating element won't be on, and that air coming out the vent is going to help the entire cleaning process. And now with the dryer running we can start to spin that brush up. It's important to keep the brush moving all the time as you're going to insert it into the vent. Don't run that thing at high speed, any type of movement is going to be just fine, but as that brush is spinning, kind of pulls itself into the vent. You're gonna see a ton of debris like this blowing out. And I'm actually kind of surprised that there's not even more, and if you've never cleaned out your vent before, you might be in for a big surprise. Now each dryer vent can be a different length, meaning that the dryer inside could just be a few feet from the vent, or you could be as much as 30 feet long. So that's when you're gonna use those extensions and you'll screw each one into the next until you kind of feel that brush bottom out. But you do want to be careful because if the material inside your vent pipe is that tin foil type of stuff, you could actually puncture it. So take your time, keep the brush spinning, and slowly insert it in and out of the vent. Now you do have to spend the 20 bucks on this tool, but it is totally worth it, and this is something you're going to want to do at least once a year. Now there are many people that have had fires due to dryer blockages, and the other benefit is your dryer isn't going to have to work as hard to dry your clothes, and many people will notice that it takes less time to dry their clothes after cleaning it out. Before I did this cleaning, I noticed that that door wasn't even closing at all. Now that's definitely not good for mice or birds, and it's something you want to take care of. So one of the easiest ways to do that is to use the brush to clean the outer portion of the vent. And now with all that junk out of there, the door had no problems closing at all. Now once you're done with this job, you do want to do one final inspection. Take a peek behind your dryer. You want to make sure that you didn't puncture any pipes, and that the inside hose is still connected. Because when you push it with that brush, there is a chance that you could have pushed that pipe right off the back of the dryer. And it's not a big deal if you did, just reattach the hose, and it's no excuse for not getting this job done. Cleaning your dryer vent might not be an exciting topic, but it's definitely something that you want to do. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.